Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter what time of the day it is that you're watching this. My name is Clarissa Young and I'm your fab motivator, that's F-A-B. I help with the woman find acceptable balance when it comes to health, wellness, and prosperity. I'd like to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for liking, for commenting, for sharing my videos and joining me along my journey. I'm inside of this very quick video. I wanted to come here to share some tips with you on how to be able to get more steps um, and um, many times you may go on different step challenges and different things like that. Um, first, I want to remind you really quick um, because I know there will be some, um, some naysayers that may have some things to say. I want to first say any movement is exercise. Any movement is exercise. So keep that in mind when I give you this tip on how to get more steps that any movement is exercise and so for some of us that have um especially when it comes to weight bearing um weight bearing um disadvantages let's say it that way weight bearing disadvantages and so let's say you're doing a step challenge or let's just say you want to be able to get more movement or more steps in throughout your day but you find it difficult um to be able to get more steps in and so you may be finding like um you have your Fitbit and right now you may be doing different challenges with the steps and you may be doing a lot of chair exercises. And we all know that your arms can only do so much exercise until after a while your arms are like, girl, I am tired too. Can I get a break as well? And so I have a tip for you, a way to also to be able to work your legs and also let those steps count as well. Okay, and so what you will need is you will need your um, your step counter. I have a Fitbit. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a Fitbit. Um, whatever type of tracking device that you that you're currently using, um, you will need a. I like to use a, a bandana, um, some type of scarf or so. And you'll see. And then you will need some pillows to help prop to make it comfortable. Okay. Clarissa, what are you doing? <laughs> Let me show you. Okay, um, it's probably best done inside of your bed, especially if you have difficulties getting down on the floor. Um, but however, I'm downstairs inside of my home and I'm gonna show you from here. And so what you are going to do, I'm gonna step away from my camera a little bit and hopefully it does not tip over. What you're going to do is you're gonna take your Fitbit off of your wrist. And mm -hmm, you're gonna put it on your ankle. Yes, yes, yes. And so you're gonna put your Fitbit on your ankle. And no, you're not cheating because you're gonna move. You're gonna still move this ankle and it is still exercise, okay? Now, I like to take my scarf and wrap it over like so. And then because if your ankle is, and I hope you can see it, I have my screen now because my battery is low. If your ankle is bigger than your, um, than your tracking device, um, you're not able to close it, right? Um, but if you have one of those pedometers that just lets you clip it on your sock, like back in the day, then you just clip it on your sock. But if your ankle is bigger than your tracking device and you're not able to close it, you just take your bandana and you, Simply um, tie it around your tracking device to where it's going to hold it in place. And if your tracking device has an app that'll let you see it on your phone, you'll be able to monitor it and see that it's, it's moving at the same time. And so the purpose of the pillows is... The, the, the flatter you lay on the ground, the more ab workout you'll get. And so if you find that your abs are not as strong yet, um, you can use pillows to help alleviate some of the pressure inside of the abs. And so what you're going to do is you're going to lay back and I'm going to put the pillows up under me like so. And again, the higher you stack, the higher you stack the pillows, the less resistance there is on your abs. And so you lay back and you're gonna simply 
lift your legs. And this is gonna help you to be able to get steps. This is like the walking motion. You can put a pillow behind your neck. You can also hold your hands behind your neck. The higher you lift it, the more of the workout you will get. And now you can still get a workout in. And this is gonna be able to help you to get more steps in throughout your day um, without putting as much pressure on your legs. Again, the higher you put your pillows, and I do find that this is easier on my bed. You can even sit on your couch. You can even sit on your couch and you can flutter kick. You can flutter kick like so. And this is gonna help you to be able to get more steps in. Let me turn it so you can see my flutter kicks. You can flutter kick like so. And this is gonna help you to be able to get more steps in throughout the day. So again, I'm sure there's gonna be some naysayers that's gonna say, um, you're cheating, it's not on your risk. You're sitting down. Listen, I feel it in my thighs. As I flutter kick, my heart rate has elevated some. Any movement is exercise. You do what you have to do. It's better to at least do this than to do nothing. Um, it's better to feel included to where it's not that you, to where you don't feel like you can't um, participate versus to, to be left out. And so if, you, if you're able to stand, then you do some standing. Um, but if you can't stand, then you, do, you go here, you know, and you can do some flutter kicks again, or maybe you do a combination of some. I wish you could see my flutter kicks better, but I know I'm close. But you can go here and you do use some flutter kicks. Again, the higher you lift it, the more you work. And so let's say if you want to work yourself more, if you feel like you're cheating, then you work yourself more and you lift it. Now, what do you have? You have a leg workout as well as you have an abdominal workout. And you're also getting your steps counted and you don't have all the weight on your joints. And as you see, my heart rate is up. All right. And you, you'll find if you use your app, you'll find that your, um, your step tracker is also going up as well. So I hope that this helps. Love you all so much. Happy, happy Wednesday. Love you. All right. Bye bye. Now, keep in mind as well, if you do this for a period of time, that this is still movement. And since it's still movement, it's still exercise. So make sure you still stretch afterwards. Okay. Love you. Talk to you later. Bye bye.